Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep here and today with the KC Cup coming closer I'm gonna just testing uh, some spicy full decks, maybe something original, something that you will not see uh, as easy as the other decks, as the meta decks. We all know about the Dark Magician top tier as well as the Cyber Dragon with uh, all the other stuff that's coming with blue eyes and so on but uh, today I'm gonna see something spicy um, with Sarah that's here with us as you can see so uh, this is the deck um, the but let's start from the skill I I've chosen reload that's an uncommon skill uh, for all who does not know who do not know what it does it's pretty easy can be used on uh, turn 5 and onwards uh, you can simply add your all your card you have in your hand uh, to the deck and shuffle it then just draw the same amount of cards you put into the deck so um, it's just a reload um, it's a, a, a really general skill so nothing specific but so um, if you have some strange ideas, some better ideas to use with this, you can of course change it, it's just a test and with this deck I uh, I really feel, I can say, enough comfortable um, in the King of Games rank because I'm uh, King of Games right now so uh, I do not know uh, how can he do, how can this deck do in the uh, Legend rank but I think pretty well because in the Kog rank um, it was worthy, we can say. So it's a Constellar deck. So um, uh, as you can see, uh, why did I choose to put, to make Constellar deck? Because of this card that's just so powerful, Constellar Meteor, the best trap card of the Constellar right now we have at the moment. So what it does, uh, during the turn this card is activated, every monster that battles a Constellar monster and is not destroyed gets um, shuffled back into the deck. So uh, it does not target, this is really important, so you can deal with all the bad stuff we have in the meta right now. So I'm talking about Cacatus, I'm talking about the boss monster of the Lunalite, so the fusion monsters, and... Uh, the other stuff that cannot be targeted so really 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 useful also it's a, a very good counter against Shiranui that because if you just destroy or banish a Shiranui they gonna activate some effects the next turn and maybe fuck yourself up so um, with Costellar Meteor you're just safe as well so and you can also activate it uh, in every time so you do not need to wait to feel the damage step or the battle step you can just activate it so you it's um, it can be used also as a uh, you know as a defense to make your opponents not attack during the during that turn so really really useful then we have when then we added uh, a tree trap will disruption why because as you will see uh, this deck um, as not a, a, a monsters that have uh, higher attack, high attacks, so uh, with Wall of Disruption we're gonna um, save our monsters uh, from the big boss of the other decks. Then we have, I've chosen uh, World Legacy Clash as the uh, sim limited card. I was, uh, I had some doubt uh, about World Legacy Clash and of course the, um, the Forever Green um, enemy controller, but then I decided to use World Legacy Clash because it can really save your monster for a turn and also prevent, uh, can prevent your opponents from uh, attacking, so uh, really, really useful, especially if you want to um, play some synchro monsters, some, uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of general synchro monsters. So, but let's go deep into the monsters. We have the only tuner that's a scrap goblin. Why I choose scrap goblin? Because it cannot be destroyed by battle, so it can really last your. It's the best choice for your first turn. You set it, and when they attack, if they have only one monster, you're gonna have your scrap goblin also your next turn, and then you can go into some crazy synchro summon. But let's go to. 
the best part of the deck, of course, the Constellar Monster. I've chosen three monsters and uh, just put three copies of uh, each one of that. Um, I've chosen the first one is Constellar Algedi. I think this is the way you say it. But uh, what it does, when it's normal summon, you can spe special summon one other level for Constellar Monster. The other level four, of course, can be another Constellar Algedi or can be an Acubans. Uh, what, what does Acubans do? When it is normal or special summoned, all the constellar monsters you control get 500 attack boost. That's, you know, not that much, but not that bad, we can say. So your El Gedi gets to um, 2100, uh, not that bad. And then we have Constellar Leonis that uh, if you have it on the field, you get one free normal summon um, in addition to your normal summon. Uh, so, not that bad. Um, both the con these Constellar monsters as a, had, uh, have another and uh, an higher and a high defense uh, level, and level defense um, uh, value, so you can just set them into, into different position for the first third and then as you will see in the dual replays what you're gonna do is always just to synchro summon one of your big boys in the synchro in the, in the replays you will see always the synchro summon of samurai destroyer that's the one you're gonna make the most and guys samurai destroyer it's a destroyer is a really bad guy to deal with because um, if they try to destroy it, not with not uh, battling, they were gonna they were gonna have a bad surprise because every time he leaves the field um, without uh, battle, he simply gets back. He, he simply comes back because it says that if this face-up card in its owner control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can duck. You can target one machine type monster in your graveyard special summon, but the machine type monsters will be, of course, your samurai destroyer. And you can just special summon him again back to the field. Or, or also, another machine type we have is our um, Acubans, that's a machine type. But of course, if you have your destroyer, you're gonna summon him. So, a really bad guy to deal with, and also, of course, as you know, it's really, really powerful because. Uh, when he battles the monsters, your opponent cannot activate cards or effect, and also he negates the effect of the monsters he's battling with. So, really, really a bad guy. Then we have Bryonic, just to um, uh, pull up to poop cards on the field. Uh, in the truth, it's not pooping, but it's just making the cards uh, coming back to the hand. And then we have a Black Rose Dragon in case. Uh, we have a, a, a field uh, with a lot of cards, of, of course I'm talking about the, your, your opponent field, so two cards to deal with, just su just special summoner, Black Rose Dragon, clear up the whole field and it's okay. And then we have a White Arrow Dolphin, in just in case we have to deal with a, an higher attack monster that we cannot destroy in other ways. So. Guys, uh, it's really easy to synchro summon with this deck, uh, thanks to Scrap Goblin that's gonna resist um, uh, uh, quite always. And um, then we have this bunch of traps. Of course, of course, you can just replace World of Disruption with every trap you have that can help you um, uh, saving your monsters on the field. Um, and of course you can choose another skill if you feel if you do not have reload or if you feel that you can have a better skill I think this is this is um, uh, quite general and uh, I use it uh, especially when I had uh, you know um, a scrap goblin on the field and I just needed a monster to synchro summon or uh, if I had already a monster on the field, a Costellar monster on the field and needed a Scrap Goblin to Synchro Summon. I use Reload just to, uh, you know, to try better luck. And guys, this is the deck. I hope you enjoyed all the explanation. Feel free to ask me wherever you want in the comment section down below. Of course, if you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a comment, a like and subscribe. It really helps a lot to make this deck being uh, known to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links community. Uh, guys, thanks for all the support and enjoy the replays!